What's up guys, Skinner Rampage here. So today we are going Funko Pop hunting at the mall. We're gonna check out Hot Topic. They did get some new stuff, as well as GameStop and a few of the other stores in there. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a simple Funko Pop hunt and a couple new things in there. Maybe we'll find something rare. Maybe we'll find something we need or don't have yet. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. Now I actually do have the 15 off 50 coupons, which could be kind of cool. So uh, you guys can use this online as well if you guys would like use that code. Um, I have two of them. So anyways, I'm not gonna use them online. Uh, nonetheless, guys, I hope we do find something really cool. Now we do have to help Captain Pops do something today. He's doing something a little crazy. So you might see a little footage of that and then probably cut over to the mall. Nonetheless, let's go Funko Pop hunting. All right, guys, so this is Captain Pop's 10-inch pile for his world's tallest Funko Pop tower. It should be interesting. That is the start, and I'll give you guys a little bit of updates along the way. Guys, right, so this is our current progress. We are about, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high. Do you want to tell them what you're doing today? Today, I will be stealing Skittle Rampage's okay. car. It's GTA style. <laughs> We got a ladder because we can't we can't even reach it anymore, which is great. Basically today I'm hoping to make this tower of Funko Pops keep going up and up and oh I'm just kidding. We want to take this thing to the sky as high as we can because Captain Pops is bigger, better, and louder. That's all I got. That See you guys. That ladder has the same stability as your tower pretty soon. <laughs> Alright guys, so still here before we actually get to the pop hunt. So I'm on the ladder currently. And uh, this is how tall everything has gotten. It's still taller than my head on the ladder on one of the high steps. So this should be uh, should be interesting just to kind of show you guys. Oh. Guys, so this is where it's currently at. That's how tall it is. Keeps going. Can I just and start displaying them out here? We're for now adding on? the. Uh, I mean, you can, but. If you run out of space for your collection, we'll display them in the street with loot locks. <laughs> but uh yeah guys we started adding the other ones around the base to kind of give it more stability and then we're saran wrapping the corners um with bigger saran wrap which is going to be nice so this is going to be awesome hopefully it's more stable as well as we do have the yarn in different places to actually hold it up because it's starting to get windy and pick up a little bit but it's uh this is my collection right yeah. now hovering 15 feet in it's about five six thousand dollars worth of 10 inch yeah, pop so a couple of pennies stacked up outside <laughs> A 20 foot tower of 10 inch Funko Pops. Lightning in the background. Oh boy. Wind is picking up. What's up guys, so I am over at the mall now. We're finally hitting up the mall. Just got done helping Captain Pops record his video. It took a couple hours and it was very, very hot. So I'm sweaty and uh, my hair is a little puffy now. Anyways, it's very windy, it feels nice. But like I said, we do have our 15 off 50, 15 off 50 coupon is what I'm trying to say to be able to go uh, hunting in Hot Topic and see if they have anything cool. Like I said, they did have a few new things, but uh, it's about an hour and a half to two hours after their release. So we're gonna see if they even still have any of that new stuff to show off. Nonetheless, let's go Funko Pop hunting and see what we find. Hey guys, we've spotted Hot Topic. Let's see what goodies they have. It's over here in their Funko section, they do have the new Emily Diamond Collection from Corpse Bride. Right over here, guys, they do have the Zack Snyder Justice League Pops, Hot Topic Superman, Superman, Dark Side, and Diana Prince. I really like this taking off pose Superman's and I think this looks great. Dark Side looks absolutely sick as well, guys. Look at that. Diana is actually a pretty basic mold, but still cool to find. Over here, guys, they do have the new Hot Topic Mickey Mouse, which looks really great. On this side, guys, they do have Sabo, Luffy Taro, Hot Topic Exclusive, and Crocodile. We do have a lot of Rat Catchers, Rick Flag, and Polka Dot Man. Oh, and Bloodsport, he looks great. Right here we do have a Birds of Prey Q Posket. Is that how you say that? That's actually a cool figure. Animation over here, we have Majin Buu Evil, Ty Lee, and Lust from Full Metal. Oh, down here Yuko, Miss Fuchi, and Amon. Cool different socks here. Some UA High, Orin Host Club, 
Oh, those glow in the dark. All right, guys, so I dipped out of Hot Topic for a second just because it was a little overwhelming in there. There was a lot of people. I did find a few things that I want to get for Bailey. I'm just trying to get to that $50 mark so I can get $15 off. I might just have to pick up a pop because I was like $4 off. So yeah, guys, we're going to go over to GameStop briefly. Hopefully Hot Topic chills out a little bit, kind of a little detour, and uh, we're going to pick back up on Hot Topic. I'll probably show you what I got after. So let's go to GameStop. Over here in GameStop, guys, they do have the new Dungeons & Dragons uh, Strahd. Is that how you say his name? GameStop exclusive. That new sticker is so bad. We also do have the Captain America Sam Wilson version from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Man, he looks good. I'm still waiting for my Amazon one, so I don't need this one personally. I do like the Amazon one better, but I uh, did actually put John F. Walker on my birthday list, so that's going to be fun. Okay, Captain America, hello. <laughs> All right, uh, we do have the Spartan with Shock Rifle, GameStop exclusive. Let's see, what else do we have? A bunch of Death Dealers, look at all those. Oh, do we see a Goku? Is it a Chase? No Chase, Super Saiyan Goku with energy though. Cool pop, I do already do have the Chase, got it for 40 bucks. Um, let's see, I mean, I really like that Captain America. He's growing on me. I don't think I need him though. Um, let's see, Brad Hamilton, Fulton Reed. Um, uh, yeah, nothing else I need here, guys. A couple new things, though. That's cool. Look at this Superman, guys. I've never seen this. He has really long hair. He has multiple colored arms. That's, okay, that's different. That's cool, though. Wow. I really gotta collect this multiverse line. I don't know if I, th those are $24.99 a piece, though. Uh, we have Robin King, Batman Earth 11. Oh, they got a dark side from Justice League. That's sick. Books a Millions pop section. I'm gonna give you a close look, guys. Box lunch time. Let's see if they got anything good. Okay, so in box lunch, I found this Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Edward uh, little figure here, which actually looks kind of cool. They have a few of them, but I wanted to show it off because it's nice. They also have this really cool Demon Slayer game. Not sure what it is, but wanted to show it off as well. I gotta show Trunks some love up there with two different statues. We also do have a little launch cue posket and a really cool Super Saiyan Goku figure. Oh, look at that One Piece figure. That's so cool. We also have some Gundam and other animes. A few more One Piece up there, if you guys can see. That's kind of cool. We got a few different Sailor Moon figures, guys. Look at these. These are cool. All right, guys, so Box Lunch didn't have anything in terms of Funko Pop, so I decided to actually just pick up something else for Bailey. I bought a couple things for Bailey, so this is like a, a Bailey Pop hunt, <laughs> essentially, but I haven't bought any Pops yet, so I'm still working on that. We're gonna go to Pop Cult next, FYE, and then back to Hot Topic, and hopefully we will find something. Here's a few of their figures, guys. They have some cute poskets, a lot of different ones. Uh, some Naruto, Sailor Moon, My Hero, bunch of Dragon Ball Z. Those look great. Then we do have some One Piece and other animes. All right, guys, so now we are on to FYE. Did not find anything in there. I'm just not finding any pops that I, like, want, want today. That's unfortunate, but I think we're finding a lot of cool stuff so far. In FYE, guys, they do have a new Britney Spears pop that came in. Um, well, that one's older, but it's new here. Hot tamales. Uh, we do have the Pringles can. I haven't seen that one in person. That's actually pretty funny in person. 
looks a lot better than the actual glams. Oh, they are starting to get in the new Hamilton Pops. Bailey just got all these the other day. Right here, guys, they do have the Fruity Pebbles. That looks funny in person, too. They do have a bunch of Toy Story clearance, glow-in-the-dark, Pop Tea bundles, and a big restock of the Heat Ray Godzilla. Oh, they have Kraft Mac and Cheese, and I'd like to buy the World of Coke. They also got in Star Trek Spock here, Snake Eyes, and the uh, Vocaloid figures. All right, guys, so that is the actual end of this hunt. We did not actually pick up any pops at the mall this time around. There wasn't really anything that I needed, needed. The Justice League pops were really nice, but not what exactly what I was looking for, but I did want to see them in person. Um, but, guys, we do have a few different pickups. Like, we do have this metallic Aang that uh, Captain Pops actually uh, gave to me for actually helping him out, which is awesome, so we're going to be opening that. And we do have this little bit... Uh bit of a mystery box a box of gold from him and if you guys want to see what's inside stay tuned towards the end of the video all right guys so we are going to be showing off the new ang metallic funko hollywood exclusive as well as a box of gold that captain pops uh, actually gave to me which was really awesome also guys this is a new day that i'm recording this portion of the video I got busy the other day trying to finish up this video, so I'm recording it a different day. Nonetheless, guys, we do have a giant box of just a mystery box in general, which I'm very excited about. I have no idea what this is, and I had no idea this was even coming. Um, so, in the beginning of the portion of the video, I obviously did show off some footage of the world's tallest Funko Pop Tower uh, built with 10-inch pops. So make sure to go check out that video, guys. I'll link it in the description below. Um, it's a very fun video, a lot of fun to record. And we damaged a lot of pops, so make sure to go check that out if you want to see part of the tower falling. Anyways, nonetheless, guys, it was a lot of fun, and uh, thank you so much, Captain Pops, for the gifts. Uh, that was really awesome. So the first thing I do want to show off is the metallic Aang, guys. So we didn't pick up anything on this hunt, but we found a lot of cool things, which was awesome nonetheless. And uh, we're going to take Aang out of the box here. So obviously, I don't live in Hollywood, so I wasn't able to get this, but Captain Pops does have friends over there, and they hooked him up, and then he hooked me up, which was nice of him to do. And I actually did need this one for my set. Uh, um, and there was a Funko Shop exclusive or this one and uh, I'm kind of glad to have the metallic one because it actually does look better and I like this this is cool so let's take it out of the box haven't had my hands on one of these I can't pick up the actual Funko Shop exclusive one for I don't know like 30 bucks so I can get the whole set almost um, and then we also do have the uh, Hollywood Ang here now what's funny about this actual avatar set is this whole video would have been different had I gone out to actually get Blue Spirit on the release the other day. I decided not to because there was like 11, 12 people in line and only like 9 or 10 chases available um, at the actual Hot Topic the other day. And I was like, I'm not getting out of bed. Just go wait in line just to get nothing. You know, no chase. I can pick up the Hot Topic exclusive one later on. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't really need to go all the way to Hot Topic at... 8 o'clock in the morning to wait two hours just to get the regular exclusive. I can just go there another day. I'm sure there will be plenty more. So, like I said, this whole video would have been different um, had I maybe gotten up a little earlier, but I wasn't keen on waiting three and a half hours in line to save myself like 30, 40 bucks. I, I'll just wait for it to go lower in value and then buy one later. Nonetheless, guys, this is an awesome freaking gang. Look at that. You got the metallic arrow, and then his body is metallic. And then parts of his staff... Oh, no, no, I think his whole staff is actually metallic. This is a cool pop, though. So this is Aang essentially in a battle pose. Kneeling. Crouching, whatever you want to refer to it as. Solid pop, though. I like the look of this. This is cool. So, again, thank you, Captain Pops, for the hookup. Now let's open up the uh, box of gold here. This should be fun. Like I said, I have no idea what's in here. I don't get mystery boxes too often. Uh, I do actually have one coming, though. I bought one. It was like 25 bucks, and it was like anime themed. I was like, you know what? You guys enjoy anime, so I'll pick one up. But again, I'm not exactly too keen on mystery boxes, and I've expressed this pretty vigorously through all my videos that I don't buy a lot of mystery boxes because I think they're a huge gamble, and I'd rather just buy something outright. Nonetheless, I do buy mystery boxes from time to time for content for you guys and things like that um, because you guys do seem to enjoy them. So I do them for you guys. I spend the money for you guys. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're going to do this traditional mystery box style because, again, I have no idea what's in here. And uh, we're going to see what's uh, in this actual box. Okay. So, okay, so we have something on top here. What is this? Oh, okay, so this is his actual new whatnot sticker, I think. That's cool. That's pretty neat, actually. I like that design. I like the blue on the background. Like I said, I'm trying to do a mystery box style. What is this? Oh! Okay, this is fun. Pokemon uh, trading card. Interesting. I, I, I've never bought one of these 10s. I don't know what you can get in them. 
Shining Fates. And it is still sealed. That's cool. So this must be a brand new 10, an extra 10 he had. Okay, I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't really do Pokemon cards. I don't really know anything about them. <laughs> I've never tried to act like I did. If you guys want to see an opening of this in a future video, comment down below. Just leave a like or something like that, and I'll know if this is something you guys are interested in. I Cramorant, is that his name? I've been playing Pokemon Go a lot recently, and I haven't really touched anything Pokemon in a long time. I used to play the Game Boy Advance games and on the Nintendo DS and everything like that. But it's been a couple years since I've played one of those games, so I don't really remember too much about Pokemon. But I have been enjoying Pokemon Go. And I do like to go to the mall a lot to go to the Pokestops and get a lot of Pokeballs and things like that. Nonetheless, uh, very, very fun. Is that Cherim? I think that's Cherim on the side there. See? I think I know some... I know some Pokemon. I think that's Jerem, at least. Okay. It's in an envelope. Let's see what we got. Oh, more cards! Wow, dude, you have so many different cards. Okay, so we got Batman and Green Lantern. Oh my god, I might have to do, like, a card opening video. That's cool, actually. Because, you know what? I, you know, it's funny. I was sent some other cards. I have some Dragon Ball Z cards, okay, to open. I have these cards, and I have these Pokemon cards. So maybe on a stream, I could open those. That might be fun. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Let me know. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Next up, we do have a soda. Ooh. Iron Man soda. What do we got? So that's what it's little... These are pogs. I think these are called pogs. I actually did like the look of this Iron Man soda. I'll definitely be throwing this on the shelf. Let's take this out. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. I believe, I think this has a metallic or glow in the dark chase. I don't remember. That's sick. That's cool. That's going to go right up there next to Chili Willy. You guys obviously can't see that, but it is up there now. That's really cool. Thank you so much, dude. All right. I don't have too many Funko sodas. All right, let's see what else. Let's bring up the box now. Oh, wait, wait, we did have this little, uh, I think this is a, what is it, Pop Pop? Three, two, one. What do we got? Oh, it's the uh, Batman Gamer Keychain. I'm surprised you still have some of these. That's cool. <laughs> I don't really have too many Pocket Pops. All right, so now we have two actual, either six inch pops or two packs. I think they're six inch pops. All right, let's see what the first one is. Three, two, one. What is it? Is it good? Oh, cool, we got a Mortal Hulk. I actually have not had this one. Dude, this is sick. I've seen this one plenty of times, but I guess I've never really held it up close. That's amazing. I believe it has a glow chase to it. All right. Three, two, what? What's this one? Oh, I, I held it backwards, but... Oh, Pirates of the... Oh, this is so cool. So this is the uh, Disney exclusive Pirate on Gold. This is cool. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but these are sweet. I don't really collect a lot of uh, Disney. This is cool, though. I really did like the glow version of this. This is a crazy box, dude. Thank you so much. Obviously, I do have a big stream coming up of giveaways and things like that. So I'm definitely going to be um, unboxing different pops and things like that. So maybe I'll save an unboxing for these uh, for that actual stream. So yeah, guys, what I think I'll do is I'll unbox these on that actual stream. So if you guys want to see up close looks, stay tuned for that. That will, that stream will probably roll around for 35k because it was meant for 30k and then we kind of surpassed 30k like crazy fast. And then we were at 32k and I was like, well, I don't feel like there's much point. And then I'm just piling giveaways. So 35k, we're about 600 subscribers away. So subscribe if you're new, if you want giveaways and things like that, because we got some big stuff planned. So yeah, these are cool. Maybe we'll give away one of these. All right, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below. What was your favorite portion of the video? Uh, we showed off manga. We showed off statues. We showed off all kinds of different figures, anime, and more. So I'd love to hear your thoughts if you did enjoy the video. Um, I am trying to pan over more, getting more of those shots and things like that. And the reason you're seeing more and more of that is because stores blast music in those actual stores. So it's hard to edit around the um, music and things like that for copyright reasons. But I am trying to get more footage of me talking because I know it can get boring of just 
pan shots and music and things like that because that's not my usual traditional style video but I'm trying to work with what I got. So please be patient with that. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for continuing to support me and the channel. I really do appreciate it and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. A lot of cool things going on over there. I also want to tell you guys, make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends, as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.